Time for Mr. Truck, reviewing the latest innovations for your truck and trailer. Mr. Truck here with an SUV review up here in the Rockies. We're up at Estes Park and we are testing out this 2019 Volkswagen Atlas V6 SEL Premium. Now this is the largest Volkswagen SUV. I think it came out last year. This is a 2019. And it's got 276 horsepower, 266 pound-feet of torque, an eight-speed automatic. It'll tow 5,000 pounds with a 500 pound ton weight. Now we're actually towing uh, 3,660, so we're under the maximum weight. We are at maximum on the on the tongue. And we're trying out this new Gen Y glider hitch. It's a hitch that separates the balance of the truck and the trailer. Makes everything ride better. We're testing out up here on some rough roads. But this is a seven passenger. It's a luxurious SUV, 20 inch wheels, all the cool stuff, all kinds of toys and electronics. And it's got that panoramic moonroof, so it's a fun truck. We're doing fine, haven't had a problem with power. We got sport mode, we got all these different modes. So you can go off roading with it, you got snow mode. And it is, it's cool. But anyway, heading home. Mr. Trek here with the latest and greatest in trailer accessory review. This time it's Shocker Hitch. They've got an airbag cushion for your gooseneck, an airbag cushion for your bumper pull. Isolates the truck from the trailer. Great products. You know, the truck and trailer almost joined together. That ball is pretty solid, so you get to feel each other. But you want to isolate that. You don't really want to drive in the truck and film what the trailer's feeling. Your horses probably don't want to feel what your truck's doing. This way they're separate. And it makes them ride better, makes it quieter, makes a better cushion between the two and you know you're talking about living quarters and all those things that go on the front of a horse trailer you know with the glued in cabinets and the mirrors and all when you were this car when you were this no no honey climb in the back seat the third row back here climb back there for now let's just see you climb back there Whoa. wow just sit down just sit down <laughs> see how much room you got okay now climb back over in your child seat it does look like a pretty special hitch. It is, it's different. Okay, you I climb back there in the back seat just for fun. Can't you use a different, different uh, trailer? Cool. Well, that button shows you all around the vehicle. Shows you what you're close to and hooked to a trailer, so it shows that. But that is cool. There's those nice big knobs. And then the four wheel drive system here. Well, it's an all wheel drive, it's on all the time. There's your park brake, your engine stop start. And then over here, you can go to sport mode and shift it left and right, change gears, go manual, and go up and down, go left and right. And then up and down to change gears up or down. Pretty cool. Grab your hole down here underneath all this. The big console in the middle. The big console. That's plenty of room. And a few more electronic plugins. Modes. And there you go. You got eco and normal and sport. And custom. And then I can rotate these around and I think I can get uh it's a snow. That's the snow. That's the normal mode. That's the off-road, and here's the real off-road, custom off-road. So I guess you can adjust a few things on that. But that's cool. And then I think I've showed you this, too, in the center section. You've got all these different ways to change the dash. And one of them goes into GPS. I'll push navigation and see what it does. Maybe I've got to get rid of that screen. I go into navigation. Come on, girl. There's a regular clock. Great visibility out of this. I thought it towed traders very well. And it's class, 5,000 pounds of trader. It'll do well. It did probably squat about oh, an inch and a half. But it's four corner independent suspension, although squat somewhat. And in the book, the Volkswagen don't want you to use weight distributing hitches. And I, my idea is a lot of the Europeans don't want you to do that, European makers. 
Because these are unibodies, and they think if you put a weight distributing hitch and it puts pressure along the subframe in the bottom, that it'll you know tweak the doors a little. That's my guess, because the American unibody vehicles don't care, but they do in Europe. They don't want you bending the subframe, bending the floor panel. I don't know that it even happened. Well, coming back from Estes. Went up here and you know I, I I'm sure there's climate change because I was born in Colorado and every year in the last five years it's gotten windier. We used to have wind mostly April March and now it's all year round and every time we go to Estes, which is every month, it's blowing. The wind is blowing. I don't know something's going on. Might have something to do with wildfires and everything else. But anyway, I'm in this SEL Atlas Volkswagen. The big SUV. And it's so cool. It's an all-wheel drive. It has all these different modes. It even has a, a custom mode on the off-road one. So I'm not sure exactly what you can change on that. But it's got 8 inches of clearance. You could take this off-road. I wouldn't climb rocks with it. But it's a, it's a fun rig. And it pulls trailer as well. This is rated to 5,000 pounds. 500 pound tongue weight. We're pulling 3660. A little under 37. And with a 500 pound tongue weight. And you know on the trader I'm not hauling anybody with me so I'm trying to keep the weight down but this you know it's 376 horsepower on 8 speed and has a sport mode and I have no problems taking up power with it of course it doesn't have a tow haul mode these really aren't big towing machines but uh, it does it does fine it's the size of a trailer and I just saw one up here I wish I could got a picture of it up here in Estes there was uh, an Atlas towing a travel trailer couldn't back up fast enough or far enough so anyway but this all will drive it's nice this would be something you would want to take out on some snow I mean here in these western states we get a lot of snow and this way you could manage the weather you know where you can actually get to work every day and it's got nice seats the middle seat there slides back and forth you can adjust the heck out of it you got two seats behind that so you haul seven people in here which in the old days used to only be in minivans now it's just about everything so the mirrors are adequate they're not towing mirrors of course but i can see around this trade and trade is about a little over seven feet wide but uh it's got 20 inch wheels so it looks cool it's a good looking truck. This has to be a silver. I'm sure there's a special name for it. But the 3.6 V6 with an 8 speed. I mean, you don't even know it's shifting. It's very smooth. And, you know, it's. Uh, and of course, I don't feel the trailer. We've got that new Gen Y glider hitch back there, which has these torsion straps like all the torsion hitches do. It's built like a torsion axle, like what Airstream came out with in the 40s, what most of your horse traders have. And it's four straps of rubber to go against the square bars in there. And that gives the twisting action, which actually is what rocks and gives you the comfort. So you don't have to worry about an airbag or filling up an air or a leaky airline. And it self adjusts and it does really well. And it's ready to clear up to 7,000 pounds and 700 pound ton weight. So we're not maxed out on it. And it's leveled right out. The hitch is level. It starts up tipping up a little bit. And then you bring it down with the weight and the ton weight. And uh, you know, I don't feel what all the trainers are doing back there. I can hear the the uh, ramps on the front and back, they rattle a little bit, but they're not, uh, they're not causing commotion. Usually you feel a little more jerk with this trailer, and that's gone. So we don't feel the trailer, and the trailer doesn't feel us. So my Honda side-by-side -side and that Honda ATV back there, they're riding in comfort. <laughs> Mr. Truck here with the new glider hitch from Gen Y. Of course, you know it's heavy duty. And this has the one torsion bar instead of the two like you see on the big heavy duty ones or the gooseneck style that means that there's rubber straps inside here there's four of them like just like on a torsion axle on a horse trailer and that moves up and down with your trailer so it isolates the movement of the trailer it isolates the movement of the truck this happens to be an atlas from volkswagen an suv and we'll be pulling our atv trailer with a side by side and an atv on it so this is adjustable up to six inches. Now this one is made for a 7,000 pound trailer. So this actually is adjustable six inches up and down. That's the one I've got. You can also get one that's just adjustable a couple inches. And then this piece here bolts on that same place so that you can add 
a weight distributing hitch head and the spring arms. That's what this piece does if you want to use weight distributing. And a lot of these smaller trailers, if you're over 5,000, you really should go with weight distributing. So we're going to be towing about 3,700 pounds. And that's what all this looks like. Now you can see that it's tipped up. It's tipped up because there's no weight on it. When they put the weight on it, it levels out. So it's all good. I'm going to adjust this up because my trailer hitch is fairly tall. So I'm going to move this hitch up. And then later on, I'll get a weight distributing hitch head and we'll try this out. But uh, yeah, this really does make a difference when you're towing because it's, it's made to move. It's made to take that bounce out of your trailer. So when your trailer hits a pothole, you won't know it. It makes about 90% smoother ride. It uh, reduces all that content or the component fatigue because it's, you know, it's, it's taking the bounce out of it. It reduces the wear in your truck and your trailer and then your maintenance cost. There's nothing to do to it. There is no grease circs on this one. There is no uh, <clears throat> uh, airbags. There's none of that stuff. No maintenance on it whatsoever. But uh, you can go all the way down to a 200 pound tongue weight all the way up to 700 pound tongue weight. And uh, it's all designed on their, their cool computer there at Gen Y. And it's passed all the tests. This is a five year warranty on the moving parts. And it's a, it's a lifetime on the rest of it. Of course this thing's made like a tank. An Abrams tank, you cannot hurt these. And um, that's how that works. So I'm going to put it on the trader. We're going to take it to the mountains tomorrow and test it, put a camera on it, and watch the movement of it so you can see exactly what it does. But this is the new glider. This is the new glider from Gen Y Hitch. Beautiful up here in the mountains. The Quakies are just about all turned and falling off the trees. But uh, yeah, it's October in the Rockies, so we're going to still be doing a lot of driving up here, testing out some new vehicles. And the next vehicle we get is a GMC AT4 Arcadia, and we'll see what that does. And Kelsey will be back for that video, and then we'll have a special guest for that video. But here we are, coming back down the mountain. Now, this doesn't have tow haul mode, so there's no grade shifting, but it's... We're running, uh, we're only running 49 miles an hour. And I'm getting all the way up, and it was getting 12 miles to the gallon with the trailer for the most part. Once in a while, I got all the way up to 12.2. But I like the visibility of this truck. I love that panoramic view in the mountains. You can see animals up there. You can watch the quakies when they're turning. A lot you can do with a panoramic sunroof. <clears throat> but it's just floating. It's full independent. Of course, it's a unibody, just floating down the road. Having no issues with the ride and the comfort, and there's no road noise. It's a very quiet SUV. But uh, I did take my grandkids for a ride in it and got them in all the different seats. And the great cubic feet, I'll give you that here in a little bit how many there is with all the seats down, with the driver's seat, and with just the back sections down. Because it uh, beats a lot of the other SUVs in this class, like a Tahoe. It actually has more cubic feet than the Tahoe. That was brought out by TFL Truck with Andre. But, I'll give you more details. Well, we just towed this trailer up and down Estes Park. I get a big kick out of it. One of the funniest things about this is this 17 cup, 17 cup holders. <laughs> holds seven, but it holds 17 cups. So I guess you can really go to the bathroom a lot in this truck. It's a reflex silver metallic, and then of course it's a Titan black leather interior. And this, uh, it's got all five-star ratings except for the frontal and the driver and the rollover. Everything else is five, and those two are four. But the interesting to me is that 22% of this of the parts in this rascal are 22, 22% are German, U.S. and Canadians 47%, and they build them in, and they put them together in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The engine is German, and the transmission is Japanese. So that. Uh, that's good, and we tested this out. We tested out that Gen Y hitch at the, the glider, and it does. Uh, we dropped the three holes. It goes up and down six inches for adjustment. It did really well. Isolated the the movements, but yeah, the uh, it's got eight inches of clearance, and part of that has to do with what you see in the uh, the middle stack there when you run the modes. Is you can it's got two off road modes. One is it's got some adjustments to it. It's called a custom. But the middle display, right above your steering wheel, which is where they'll put GPS there, which I really like that. It's a 20, it's a 12.3 inch display, and the regular screen and the center stack 
excuse me, where your GPS and radio and all that is is eight inches. And it's a eight speed on this V6. And I guess I told you the horsepower 260 or 276 horsepower 266 torque. Uh, it's got sport mode. It's got all the stuff for uh, manually shifting it. It's the biggest in the VW class, real similar to the Ford Explorer class. And that's what they're aiming at. They're aiming at that, uh, that midsize uh, American market. And, this, you know, this is uh, that unibody, which, you know, Volkswagen invented unibody back in the 40s when they made the Beetle. And then they also put out votes of the uh, seat belts, and that was quite a machine. And that's, you know, so Unibody's been around a long time. Most all of these crossovers are Unibody with the floor pan and subframes for the axles. And, you know, it's the big ones that have the body on frame. I'm kind of body on frame guy, but, you know, this size of a truck, this is what it goes. They're trying to make them lighter and more maneuverable, and it's four wheel independent suspension, which, is, of course, is a good thing. And I love the adaptive cruise control on this, that's one of my favorite options on any vehicle. The lift gates, like a lot of these are doing, you're in your foot under the bumper and it lifts the tailgate. Of course, it's got buttons on it. Now, according to the numbers I've read off of here, the cargo cubic feet, if you fold down the last two rows, you're at 96.8. If you fold down this passenger seat, you get all the way up to 153.7. That's a big jump. I'm not quite sure I understand that. But this, uh, it's got the fender speakers. My son loves that. And that's what Nissan's gone to. This is an all-wheel drive. Uh, they call it uh, something else. Let's see. But the all-wheel drive. Where is that puppy? It's got a special name. Oh, yeah. It's 4Motion. That's the all-wheel drive. So it's on all the time. And the warranty is really interesting on this. It's six years, 72,000 miles. Uh, that includes the drive, the powertrain. And then it's got a seven-year, 100,000 miles on corrosion. That's interesting. But it, uh, it's got all luxury items on it. You know, it is a 12-valve V6. I mean, 24-valve V6. Independent electromagnetic steering. It's got the uh, anti-slip regulation. Electronic brake pressure distribution, which is cool. So it can regulate front and back how much pressure to apply, which has to do with trailers and how heavy your tongue weight is. Of course, electronic stability control has been around a long time. Uh, I love the rear view camera, and it has a lot of few cameras that, that show you a lot of cool stuff, like the 360, which is nice. Of course, the 20 inch wheels, these are all season tires. Uh, in Colorado, we need all terrains out here, but um, a lot of halogen lights on this. Uh, it's got those low speed cornering lights, too, which are really cool. You can see around the corner before you run into something when you turn on the corner. And the mirrors on this, they automatically fold when you shut it off and you lock it. And that is close. My truck did that. But it's got the rain sensing windshield wipers. I'm a big fan of that too. And it's got the uh, three zone automatic climate control. And the second row's got climate control. And the second row's got heated seats. The front's, of course, got heated seats. And all the independent stuff. A lot of charging ports on this. They're in the, they're in the console. They're everywhere. Um, auto dimming inside the rearview mirror. And the manual roll of sun shades are in the back there. My grandson played with that quite a bit. You roll it up and it shines your window. You mean, yeah, which is nice because if you're riding in the back row a lot, you know, that sun can really be a pain if you're driving on that side. So rolling up the sun shades out of the door is cool. That's a good idea. We'd like that. And this does that automatic parking front and rear. So that is that's that's fun if you're if you're not really talented in, in parallel parking. I saw a video where they were also doing inline parking with it. Uh, that's a good thing. On uh, digital cockpit, yeah, it has a lot of push touch touch screens everywhere on it. But um, let's see, lane keeping system. This one was going off and on, I'm not sure. Active blind spot monitoring. Ford collision warning, which is really nice in the autonomous emergency braking pedestrian walks in front of you. That's got to come in handy. He'll sit, he'll descent, he'll assist, he'll start. And this has got somewhere in here, I saw where it had limited slip rear end. And that must have to do with that custom off road setting on the modes. But that would make it pretty decent in the snow. Yep, electronic differential lock, electronic stability control tied to that. Huh. 
Because this being an all-wheel drive, I imagine it's basically a front-wheel drive, all-wheel drive. That and with the uh, locking rear end. But it's 49390 is what, the, what it costs. It's rated 23 on the highway, which is decent for the class. 17 in the city, 19 combined. And uh, there you have it. That's what we think of it. And I would say it's a decent towing machine for 5,000 pounds. I think they know right where they, where they put it. And they don't want you to use a weight distributing hitch on this. Says that in your manual. That's pretty big in European vehicle SUVs. I think they're worried about the unibody because that's what it is. Unibody is a floor pan. And that's part of the frame. And then you have a subframe on each end that holds the axles. And since it's not a body on frame, if you were to crank up weight distributing hitch, it could actually maybe bend the floor pan or twist it anyway. And then your doors may not work right. That's my theory. That's what I think because it's yeah, Audi does that. Everybody does that over there. And I saw that in the manual here. So I think that's why they do it because, and you know, 5,000 pound also is a limit for that. GM and a bunch of other companies don't want you pulling trader that weight distribution if you're pulling over 5,000 pounds, you know, in that class. So, you know, two different philosophies, but that's one of the reasons that the maximum towing is 5,000. So anyway, if you like the video, please do all that liking, subscribing, and ringing bells, and all that stuff, because that helps us, helps us stay in business, and that's a good thing, because Christmas is coming.